Behiksa. Welcome to our Big Commerce Tutorials. Today, we will learn how to create a Big Commerce webhook using Postman. The Big Commerce webhook API is a concept that automates notifications when changes occur in a store. By integrating with Big Commerce via webhooks, developers can build applications more efficiently. Among the most visible effects of webhooks for merchants is faster and more robust integration with third-party applications. Webhooks are a great way to save time and money on Big Commerce as a merchant. Because of the reasons above, today, we will show you how to create a Big Commerce webhook using Postman. In the previous blog, I showed you how to create a Big Commerce API account, and when creating an API account, there will still be no active webhook in the account, so today I will continue to show you how to create a webhook using Postman. Here's how to create a Big Commerce webhook. Note, each webhook can only be created once. You can add custom headers. Port 443 must be used for destination URLs. There are two steps. Step 1, log into your Postman and create a new workspace. Step 2, make a new post to create a webhook API. Let go to the first step, log into your Postman and create a new workspace. Step 2, make a new post to create a webhook API. After you get into a new workspace, move on to the next step, make a new post with the URL. First choose post. Then paste URL into the white box. Change by your Big Commerce Store hash from the API path. Now enter XAuth token on the key column and access token on the value column in the header section. In the body section. First, you need to click on body section, then tick it raw, to fill the data, remember to change the text to JSON. Now you can customize the webhook. The data you need to declare here will include Scope, event you subscribe to Can be orders, products, customers, channels Destination, URL must be active, return a 200 response, and be served on port 443, custom ports not currently supported. Example Headers, you can pass in any number of custom headers to validate webhooks being returned. Optional Events history enabled, identifies whether events are stored that could not be received. Is active, if webhook is active or not example, true false. Here are our sample. Once done, press the send button on the right side of the screen. Wait a moment and the API will return the data like this. An active URL must respond with a 200, response and run on port 443, custom ports not currently supported. Now turn back to your Big Commerce API account to see the result. The above are steps to create a Big Commerce webhook using Postman. Please comment below or refer to our Big Commerce API documentation if you have any questions. Hopefully, you can do it. With the Big Commerce tutorial series, we can help you save a lot of resources. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the following video about Big Commerce API. If you have any suggestions or questions, let us know in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.
Bahiksa. Connecting Application Automating Processes.